हाँ जी लीनियर अल्जब्रा सेक्शन 1.1 को कंटिन्यू करते हुए वी विल डिस्कस टुडे द इनवर्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स राइट लेट्स स्टार्ट वी विल डिस्कस इनवर्स ऑफ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ठीक है इनवर्स ऑफ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स स्क्वायर क्यों लिखा मैंने इस पर बात आएगी आगे ठीक है uh, पहले हम डेफिनेशन लिख लेते हैं इनवर्स क्या होता है एक मैट्रिक्स का आई विल टेक अ मैट्रिक्स स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स लेट ए इक्वल ए सब आई जे बी एनी मैट्रिक्स ठीक है उसके बाद इफ देर एग्जिस्ट मैट्रिक्स बी इक्वल बी सब आई जे ऑफ सेम ऑर्डर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ सेम ऑर्डर सच दैट ए बी एंड बी ए ए कम्यूट एंड इक्वल टू एन आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन देन वी से ए मैट्रिक्स ए इज इनवर्टेबल मैट्रिक्स बी इज कॉल्ड इनवर्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए एंड द इनवर्स ऑफ ए इज डिनोटेड बाई दिस A inverse, right? So this is all about the definition of uh, inverse of a matrix, right? Inverse of a square matrix. So let's, uh, you know, make some observations from this. First is if uh, B is inverse of A, then you can say a is inverse of b it means they follow the symmetric property right b is inverse of a a is inverse of b now note another note you will write for a b both a b and b a to be defined to be defined and equal to be defined and equal that is a b equal to b a both A and B must be square matrices of same order. ठीक है Now इस चीज से हमें क्या पता चलता है कि Thus, you can say non-square matrix does not possess a 
इन लूस ठीक है क्योंकि यहां से आपको पता चल गया कि ए बी एंड बी ए बोथ नीड टू बी डिफाइंड एंड दे नीड टू बी इक्वल विच इज ऑनली पॉसिबल वेन बोथ ऑफ देम आर स्क्र मैट्राइस एंड आर ऑफ सेम ऑर्डर दैट मीन्स कि इफ देयर इज अ नॉन स्क्र मैट्रिक्स देर इज नथिंग लाइक इनवर्स ऑफ दैट मैट्रिक्स ठीक है दिस आर कपल ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन फ्राम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनवर्स ऑफ स्क्र मैट्रिक्स ना वो मूव टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इनवर्स ऑफ ए स्क्र मैट्रिक्स राइट इट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉपर्टीज properties of inverse of a matrix property number 1 a square okay right inverse of a square matrix is unique if it exists theek okay. hai if it exists if the inverse exists it will be uh, unique right so a proof of this let matrix i can say let b and c let matrix b and c b inverse of a matrix c then by definition of inverse you can write ab b equal to i also c is the inverse so we can write ac ca equal to i now which implies that ab is equal to a c now inverse of a exists so which implies a inverse ab is a inverse a c now you can associate these two by the property of associativity you can write this so you get b equal c right that proves the uh, inverse of a is unique humne शुरुआत इससे की थी कि दो मैट्राइस ली थी बी एंड सी उनको बोला था दे बोथ आर इनवर्स ऑफ ए एंड जो हमारा टारगेट था दैट वाज टू शो बी इज इक्वल टू सी ठीक है एज वे शोन दैट बी इज इक्वल टू सी दैट मींस के इनवर्स फॉर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स व्हेन एवर इट एग्जिस्ट्स इज यूनिक इज वन एंड ऑनली वन राइट इसका मतलब है कि अगर आप किसी भी स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स का जो नॉन सिंगुलर हो उसका इनवर्स निकालने की कोशिश करोगे देन जो ही आपने उसका इनवर्स निकाला राइट उस उस इनवर्स के बगैर उस वाली मैट्रिक्स का कोई और इनवर्स हो नहीं सकता दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस रिजल्ट फर्स्ट 
let's move to the property number second. Property number second is a square matrix. A is invertible if and only if determinant of A is non zero, that is, if and only if A is non singular. But, uh, If A is a non singular singular matrix, then its inverse is given by this. Okay, this is property number third and property number four. A non singular, a singular, I should say, for a singular matrix. Inverse does not exist. You can see from this, right? If uh, determinant of A is uh, zero, then it is singular, and uh, when it is uh, zero, this thing it does not exist. That is the meaning of the property number four, and the fifth one is. If uh, A matrix A and B are square matrices of same order. such that determinant of A is non-zero and product AB is a null matrix then we need to prove uh, this B matrix B is a null matrix right try to give proof of this Now you can say given is a matri matrix A B is zero. Also, determinant of A is non-zero, which implies A inverse exists, right? Now, when A inverse exists, you can take pre-multiple with this one. We'll get. A inverse null, so you can associate A inverse with A, right? And this is B, this is a null matrix, so this one is identity, identity time is B is B, so you will get this. So B is a null matrix when this thing. So this is property number five. Let's move to the property number uh, six. Property number six is uh, property number six is if matrix A and B are.
square matrices of order n such that a b is identity matrix this then you need to show b times a is also an identity matrix for n so let's try to prove this one the proof of this is we can write b as b times this identity matrix this so we can write b in place of i and i can write a b which is given now i can associate b with a like this and this thing is so which uh, we can write it as b minus b a and this b is equal to null you can take out b and uh, you will have this thing equal to null right now ab is given to be in now which implies determinant of ab is determinant of in now which implies determinant of a determinant of b is 1 right so the product of these two scalars is non zero quantity means both of them are non zero and both of them are non zero uh, we can say uh, determinant this b is also non zero which implies b inverse exists okay so you can write you can just a uh, post multiply by b inverse you can have i n b a b b inverse that's equal to null matrix b inverse now which is equal to i n minus b a equal to a null matrix which is equal to b a will be i n so that was supposed to be proved right so that's the property number six let's move to the property number seven which is most important of the lot okay property number seven let a be a non singular matrix having integer entries only okay then necessary and sufficient condition for a inverse to have 
इंटीजर एंट्रीज ओनली लेट्स पॉज नंबर सेवन इज लेट ए बी अनाउंस सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स हैविंग इंटीजर एंट्रीज ओनली then uh, the necessary and sufficient condition for a inverse to have integer entries only is that uh, we are supposed to show that determinant of a at that time is plus 1 or minus 1 right and if the determinant of a is plus 1 or minus 1 then a inverse will have uh, only integer entries right whenever a is non singular and having integer entries only we will prove this result right now proof of this is suppose uh determinant of a is equal to plus 1 or minus 1 then a inverse is adjoint of a equal to determinant of a implies a inverse is plus 1 or minus 1 adjoint of a now a is a matrix having integer entries means uh, adjoint of a will have only integer entries and uh, the product with plus or minus 1 will not make that fractional any entry fractional so that means ki uh, this inverse will also have only integer entries uh, now we can uh, suppose that suppose uh, a inverse has uh, only integer entries okay only integer entries then a inverse a equal i we can just take the determinant of and that will imply that determinant of a determinant of a inverse is equal to 1 right now a is a matrix non singular matrix having integer entries so the determinant of this will be an integer that's point number 1 a inverse is given that it has integer entries so value of this determinant will also be an integer right now and the product of two integers is coming out to be 1 what does this mean the possibility uh, we can just factorize one as 1 this or we can write it is as negative 1 Negative one that will be one, and so the only possibility uh, for a determinant of a here is plus one or minus one. As both these uh, entries, uh, these uh, scalars are integers, and the product of two integers is coming out to be one. So the possibility uh, for these uh, two remains to be uh, one one or negative one, negative one. so the possibility for determinant of a only will remain to be a 1 or negative 1 that was to be proved so it's property number 7 very much important property right so let's move to the property number 8 which is a reversal law reversal law the property number 8 is let matrix a and b and b to non singular matrices okay of same order t 
ठीक है देन ए बी इनवर्स इक्वल्स बी इनवर्स ए इनवर्स सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द रिवर्सल ऑफ द इनवर्स ऑफ मैट्राइसिस विल प्रूव दिस हाउ दिस थिंग गोल्स हेयर ए बी B inverse, A inverse equals. You can just write A, then associate this B with this B inverse, and then it is A inverse here. So you can write A. Now this is an identity matrix, right? A inverse. So left with A, A inverse, which is again an identity matrix so a b times this is coming out to be b inverse a inverse also uh, if i write uh, b inverse a inverse a b now you can associate again b inverse this a inverse a and then it is b now it is b inverse then an identity matrix and then this b so you are left with b inverse b which is an identity matrix so this matrix multiplied with this matrix you are getting an identity matrix and then uh, this matrix multiplied with this is coming out to be identity matrix that is uh, you are getting a b b inverse a inverse equal to b inverse a inverse a b equal to identity matrix which implies this matrix is inverse of this so or we can write which implies a b inverse is what b inverse a inverse by definition you can say right by taking the multiple and this and that so it's the property number 8 Now the property number nine is generalization of this reversal law. Okay, generalization. Oh, reversal law. Okay, let a sub one, a sub two, so on, a sub k be non-singular matrices. of same order then a sub 1 a sub 2 a sub k inverse is equal to a sub k inverse a sub k minus 1 inverse 
blah blah and then you have a1 inverse okay i will not give proof of this you can prove it uh, by you can using induction right uh, whatever you, it's the just the generalization of the result the previous result right now let's come to the property number 10 property number 10 is if a matrix a is non singular then determinant of a inverse is 1 upon determinant of a no need to prove this right now the property number 11 is if a is any non singular matrix then then a key power n whole inverse is a inverse power n where n is a positive integer it's a natural number we can prove this right in this the proof of this now a n inverse you can write that as a a n times inverse then you can use the generalization of reversal law it will be a inverse a inverse a inverse but it's n times so you can write it as this okay so this is the property number 11 let's move to property number 12 Property number 12 is if determinant of A is non zero, that means A is a non singular matrix, then A inverse transpose is equal to A transpose ka inverse. Right? The proof of this is very much simple. Okay. You can write A A inverse is I which implies A A inverse transpose I ka transpose implies a inverse ka transpose then a transpose as you know the reversal law properties of transpose this is i again now you are getting uh, this one also if i write a inverse a is i now that implies a inverse a transpose i ka transpose now which implies a ka transpose a inverse ka transpose is again i now which implies a inverse ka transpose a transpose is a transpose a inverse ka transpose which is equal to i so the from property uh, from uh, definition of inverse we can write a transpose ka inverse is a inverse ka transpose okay so you can just is it from this or this 
to you. This was a proof of property number 12. Very much simple. And uh, now let's move to the property number 13. The property number 13 is if again A is a non singular matrix, then you can prove that adjoint of A kinverse is equal to adjoint of A whole kinverse. How will you prove this? Again, uh, A, A inverse is identity matrix which implies adjoint of A, A inverse is adjoint of identity matrix. Now, reversal law will get adjoint of A inverse, adjoint of A, and adjoint of identity is identity. Okay. Also, A inverse A is I, which implies adjoint of A inverse A is adjoint of i or you can write adjoint of a adjoint of a inverse is i again so what we are writing is adjoint of a adjoint of a inverse is adjoint of a inverse adjoint of A is I. Now, by again, by definition of what? Inverse, we can write this is like this, right? So that's property number 13 and property number 14 is, it's not actually a property. As we have gone through uh, transpose, right? Inverse then conjugate and then you have uh, inverse inverse I have written conjugate transpose conjugate conjugate and adjoint we have discussed uh, these uh, five uh, concepts right transpose inverse conjugate conjugate and adjoint now when we discuss transpose uh, we saw that uh, the transpose follows the reversal law inverse does the same conjugate does the same conjugate does not it is as it is and adjoint does right so this is the observation you can just remember it by this so that's it uh, for uh, inverse of a matrix and its properties.